In this video, in Microsoft Excel, we're trying to take one pivot table and shift it from one set of data to the next. So the basic principle here is perhaps you get a data dump once a month or once a quarter or once a year, and you spend a lot of time setting up your pivot table exactly right for your scenario. And then you decide that you want to take that exact same pivot table and use it to analyze the next quarter or the next month. The easiest way to make this happen is to click on your original set of data, go to the top of the screen and choose the insert tab and make this into a table using the table button, which is third from the left. Then click OK, and you now have a table, you know, the color and everything else besides the point. You now have a table at the top of the screen that if you notice on the design tab, it's called table one. Now I'm going to take a moment here and call this one Q2 results and hit enter. I should probably have gone fiscal year 2012 Q2 results, but you get the picture here. So now what I've done is I've given this set of data that I'm going to make a pivot table out of a very clear and simple name to work with. Now if I click on my data, go to the insert tab at the top of my screen and choose pivot table, notice what it says the table or range that is the source data is going to be. It's just Q2 results. And then I click OK. And now I'll make a very simple pivot table. I'll take property type and drop that in the rows box, property subtype, also drop that in the rows box, and take my sale price and drop that in the values box. And then I'll take a moment here, click the drop down menu for the sum of the sale price, choose value field settings and make this into an accounting format and maybe call this one total sales and hit OK, and then maybe I'll also go in here and I'll decide to insert a pivot chart, and that pivot chart will be a bar chart, and click OK, and then I'll take these, uh, this off, and I'll take this off, and I'll take this off, and up at the top of the screen, I'll go to the Analyze tab, and I'll deselect my field buttons. Now, what it, why am I zipping through this so quickly? It's because the point of this is not this part of the exercise. It's not the setup, because you can do whatever kind of setup to this pivot table, even the pivot chart, as you want. Uh, you can color code things. Maybe I'm really interested in single family homes. I'll go to my single family homes bar right here. Go to my format tab and uh, fill it with a nice orange color so it stands out. Okay. So at this point in the process, I now have a beautiful, perfect pivot table, an amazing pivot chart that tells me exactly what I want to know based off the Q2 data. And I get a new data dump for Q3. Now what do I do to make this as easy as possible on myself? I go to the Q3 data that comes in, select that data, go to the insert at the top of my screen and choose table and click OK. And I'm going to take a moment here and name that table something similar to what I named the previous one. So that's really easy for me to pick this out. So maybe I'll go with Q3 results. So now I have a table called Q3 results and I know that my pivot table that I created originally was based off of that other table so now I can go back to my pivot table, go to my analyze tab at the top of the screen, click change data source right up here at the top, and then tell it instead of Q2 results to look for Q3 results and click OK. And notice what happens here. The pivot table and the pivot chart both shift to represent the new information. Then when Q4 comes around, I go to that Q4 data, select it, go to insert at the top of my screen, choose table, click OK, and I'll name this Q4 results. Then again, go back to my pivot table, click the Analyze tab at the top of the screen, 
choose the button that says change data source and tell it that instead of the Q3 results, now it should look at the Q4 results. And again, the table as well as the chart updates to represent that new set of data, continuing to keep all the formatting, the charting, and everything else exactly in place the way I like it.